Hi, I'm Jana, a single mom to my amazing son, Alonzo. He was diagnosed with Global Developmental Delay Disorder. Witness the battles of my little warrior through our vlogs. Come and join us in our journey. Hi guys! So, welcome back to our YouTube channel, Jana and Alonzo sleeping <laughs> so this is our second video uh, for today's video I decided to do Alonso's birth story because a lot of people message me they comment na what's wrong with Alonso why is he like that maybe you should tell his story so we can understand you more so here it is so or maybe it might be too emotional so please Maybe grab a tissue or something. I don't know. For me, it's just a very sensitive topic to talk about. But I just really want to share this part of our life to you guys. So, background muna. Um, I have picos. Uh, both of my invert uh, ovaries are inverted. So, uh, my OB said, hirap ako mabuntis, or maybe I won't even have a chance to get pregnant, all of that. So, I accepted the fact that wala, wala, I won't have a child. So, but I had him. <laughs> so, that was, I was 26 years old. Yeah, yun. So, during my pregnancy, I had bleedings, but it was just, it was not that bad. But when I hit my sixth month, I had preterm labor, as in I was feeling cramps. Ano yun labor? I was, I was feeling cramps na, and contractions. Parang basta mixed feeling yun. And my mom said, maybe you're having contractions. So parang cramps nga siya. Parang siyang dysmenorrhea feeling, ganun. So parang ako, mabaha lang, ano lang, because he's growing and all. And then my mom said, just no, go to the hospital have yourself check and yun I was having contractions of Allah so I was just really praying that Alonso please stay please stay don't go out yet it's not yet time and all thankfully kumapit siya and he stayed and then came my 39th week um wala as in my tongue was big na it was low it was lower na than usual um, the doctor said anytime na daw so it was an um August 12th evening that I was bleeding. I was just bleeding and then I was messaging the doctor. I was telling her that iba na to, do, paano bakit I may, why am I bleeding? But my tummy is so hard, but I'm not feeling contractions. So it was my fir first pregnancy and I didn't know what to do. So I was in contact lang with my mom and then my mom said just go on to the hospital. Kasi baka yan na yun. But I said, Mom, but I don't feel contractions. And so, you know, but your tummy is painful. So, anyway, I went to the hospital. And then, when I was in the... They brought me first in the labor room. And then, they had me checked. And then, they said na, Ah, Mommy. Um, first thing that they called me, Mommy, na to ako. <laughs> anyway, so, they told me that to go first to the ward. And then, wait first kasi wala pang ang contractions. And then, okay, so, I waited and all that. And then, I called the nurse kasi sobrang tigas talaga ng chan ko. Tumitigas lagi. So, parang feeling ko yun ang contractions. Kasi walang pain. I didn't feel any pain. As in, contractions lang. Pero parang masakit yung likod ko but it was tolerable naman. So, the nurse said, ah, baka ito na to. So, they brought me back to the labor room. They placed that I forgot what you call that, sorry. Yung nilalagay, parang to, to check up the baby's heartbeat and all. Ngayon na pala, distressed na pala si Alonso. So, the OB said na, uh, okay, CS na tayo because he is really in a bad shape and kailangan na ako buksan now na, parang ganun. So, they, they brought me to the operating room that was around like, sa 2am na yun. The drogy na ako, it was just, I was tired, I was sleepy, and all that. And then I didn't know what's going on. You know, I was just there alone in the operating room. I, don't, I didn't know what to do. 
and then so they you know, can have it yung parang ganun nakaganon ako and then they injected me the epidural in the back people were asking me it was painful now I don't remember the pain but I knew it was painful but never naman nagstick sa akin yung pain I don't know but yeah and then and then I just heard the doctor okay Jana we see Alonzo um, okay then I diba sa CS um so CS yes, kasi may parang harang. But you see the faces of the dogs kasi may nakaiga ka. So may harang yun. And then, I saw the hand of the doctor raise her hand like that with Alonso's foot. And then they were, I don't know, parang shadow. I don't, yun lang naalala ko eh. Parang, Alonso, Alonso, he was not crying. And then I was hearing the nurses and doctors mobbling in the side I called it. So basta na mamobble. And then, I said, what's going on po? Like, I'm by, I'm by po. <laughs> I go, what's going on po? What's, where, where's Alonzo? How is he? Where's Alonzo? Where is he? And then, he was just not crying. And then, pakitawag si ganito, pakikuha yung ganyan. Yung yun lang nagrinig ko. And then, I heard him cry. And then, I just heard, I heard it was like after I don't know how long, but for me, it took forever for him to cry. Um, they placed me back to sleep, so I didn't feel, I didn't experience yung Alonzo in my face. The picture that we see, I was sleeping already, but yung, um, skin to skin, I didn't feel yun. Because they had to bring him right away to the uh, Nico right away, daw. Because he, he, and, um, to, he swallowed or fluids entered his body and all. So, I was in the recovery room, and um, of course, first thing I asked for is Alonzo. And they said, uh, take a rest first, and then when you get to the room, we're going to show him to you. Because I go, no. And then, ang sakit pa nun is, I was there in the recovery room, and there were some two more mommies beside me, na nandun yung half nila anak nila. So, parang kung bakit, nasan yung... Where's anak? Where's my anak? Ko? Like, where's Alonzo? Then the nurse said, "Mommy, they're gonna explain to you later. All of that, but congratulations, po. They're going out." So they went. When I went to the room, I said, "Why can't I pass the nursery first? I wanna see Alonzo." And then and then they were saying, "Le, punta ka muna ng room." And when I went there, yun, I asked what happened, and then they said. Uh, they had to put a tube in him to drain the fluid. He's in the NICU. Um, he was distressed when I gave birth to him. He has pneumonia. He has jaundice. There's so many complications. So, um, yun. and then after that, so okay na. After we had to extend for another two weeks, I think, or another week for his antibiotic. So everything went well. Two months passed, three months passed. But during those months, there was just something wrong. There was just really something wrong with him. His eyes were just so lazy. He barely smiles. He's just laying down, no interaction. Usually, kasi two months, three months, kahit medyo gumagalaw-galaw na siya pero nothing and then um, he was keep on vomiting, coughing he couldn't drink milk well even with my breast milk as in like it was just some, literally just something wrong I couldn't explain my mother's instinct that time but I knew that there is some there was something wrong with Alonso so we brought him first to the first doctor. The doctor said, no, it's normal. Um, eventually, he will cope up and all of that. So I go, ah, okay. And then I was just not contented. So we went to the second doctor. And the doctor said that, um, okay naman, parang wala namang problema. So, okay. Still, then I was not satisfied. Third doctor we went and he said, there is something wrong with your child. I suggest you bring him to Manila if you want. You could have him check there with, you know, our professional people, you know, and MRI, 
all of that, updated yung equipment. So, sorry ko, okay. So, we went down to Manila. And um, we went to our first pedia neuro that we were um, referred to. And the first thing she said is, please schedule an uh, MRI, EEG, and blood test. So, we did. And then we had to wait for four days, I think. That was the first pain pala that I felt in terms of being a mom. Seeing him being sedated, hindi natusok, um, crying when they were getting his blood. He was just crying. Ayun, that was the first time pala na I felt na sana ako na lang. Uh, so anyway, after four days, uh, we were scheduled to see the doctor, and that's where we found out everything. Um, he had fluids in his brain. There's like, parang ko ito dapat yung brain niya lon, so naging kinito nang siya. So for his age that time, dapat kinito siya kalaki, pero based on the MRI, kinito lang siya kaliit. So there's this space in front that full of fluids daw. So, hindi nag-develop daw yung brain. Yeah, they said that Alonzo is diagnosed with global developmental delay with epilepsy. Yeah. And I just simply asked. So, it's part of being the spectrum of kids being special, autistic. You know? And she said yes. Your son is, your son is special. So I don't know what superpower I had that day, but I said okay. Because okay, meron siya. What do we do now? Bakit naganon siya? Please tell me everything. Please just go straight to the point because I need to know. And she said, okay, he was like that because something happened during your pregnancy. Something happened during with you giving birth, so meaning the trauma. And it didn't sink in yet to me. It did not. Pa. And then I go, okay, so how do we cure him? There is no cure to this. It's just him. Helping him develop every day. My therapy, interaction, all that. So, okay, so, ano yung first step, di ba? So, okay na. Therapy daw, and all. Um, after that, kala ko, we'll go back to Baguio na and try to fix everything. Pero in January, he had pneumonia naman. So, we were confined again in the hospital here pa rin sa uh, Antipolo. So, we were confined for a week. I was telling myself, no, you have to be strong, Jana. You have to be strong because you need to face all of this. We were already um, discharged from the hospital. Then, three days, four days after, bumalik kami ng Baguio. So that was you know, February, March, April, May, June, July. Continuous lang yan, continuous therapy. So we had another pedia neuro there, which was, he was really great. He was really helping us in terms of his seizure his therapy, his improvement started, and it was just happy because whatever we were doing to him, it was working. But not as fast as expected, but at least he's starting to sit and roll over. Head control, yun pala yung una, head control pala. So he was starting to get head control. The therap- his therapist was ba- in Baguio was really great. Um, she was just, she, she really gave so much love and patience and, and she's just so nice and I love her and I miss her na rin. But she was the one who really helped Alonso's head control. So, yun. And then, but, but, when we went back to Baguio, everybody began to shift um, anxiety levels. Parang 
because of what happened or everything changed and my anxiety was bad in a sense na how to cope up i accepted it no doubt if people are asking now tagap ko ba or ganyan yes from day one i accepted that he was special i accepted that it will be a so it was just gonna be so much effort to do whatever needs to be done to Alonso. So accepted ko na yun. Accepted ko that he, he's not normal. Accepted ko that he is not like other kid that could play, could even have a girlfriend or friends in the future. Accepted ko na yun. That my purpose is just to be there for him no matter what. Uh, then after his birthday, that was August 13, 2021, um, we, Alonso and I moved back here in my parents' house in Antipolo. So, that part of the story with me being a single mom and all that, I'll save that for another time. I'm not ready to talk about that yet. But, yeah. So, anyway, fast forward to Alonso's situation now. It's... Um, we have a new pedia neuro here in Manila in he um, said that he said that whew, kaya ko to. he said that Alonso's condition may be so much things meaning there is just something wrong na parang hindi lang global developmental delay ang pwedeng sakit niya the traumatic event that I had or he had during my pregnancy or during the time I was giving birth to him is not enough for him to be like that. So, hindi, dapat mas extreme pa ang nangyari para maging ganyan siya. So, there are certain tests that the doctor wants to do just to be sure kung ano ba talaga yung, yung background, ano nangyari. So, we will be doing another MRI EEG, blood test, and genetic test to check kung ano ba talaga yung sakit ni Alonso. So is it really global development and delay? Is it cerebral palsy? Is it autism? Is it ADHD? ASD? <sighs> All of that. Because, parang, wala, there's just something wrong with him. And the doctor, na, our doctor now really wants to address it well. So, tama ba yung gamot na binibigay? Anong klaseng gamot dapat ibigay? So, we have to go through that series of tests to find out really what's wrong with Alonso. After doing all the series of tests, the doctor can finally say what he really has. And, um, whatever it is naman, I'm here. And whatever he will be, I'm here family, my friends, you guys, like, just the support that I have now is just making me stronger every day. And, um, the next following videos will be our journey in the hospital with the doctor because we're, besides the MRI and EEG, we'll be also seeing a ophthalmologist for his eyes, ENT for his hearing. So, yeah, um, it's gonna be hard, really, really hard. And this is what I wanna show other people or parents out there that you should accept whatever your child will be or is because it's you, eh? God gave them to you. And like in Alonso's case, parang, hindi naman sa parang wala akong choice, but he was a miracle to me. He was a miracle baby na. So maybe it's like Lord is telling me, no, no, this child is very special. You are blessed to have this child, which is true. You know, I, I, I got all the love and support I need right now, and I'm just so happy that I have him in my life because he taught me a lot. Having Alonso really taught me a lot. Part of this YouTube as well is just to really show people the awareness of special kids like Alonso and yeah and it's gonna be fun 
gonna be sad, gonna be happy, full of emotions that we're just gonna have to pass through all of these challenges. Ano mo, kakayanin lang talaga. It will be hard. It will really, really be hard. But I'm really willing to do everything and anything for Alonso. <sighs> that was... <laughs> so, um... Yeah, I hope now you guys understand and know about his situation and hopefully next couple of weeks we will see and we'll find out what does Alonso really have is it really the global development delay or something else so yeah <laughs> um, I don't know how to close this video actually <laughs> I just want to say that hope you guys will continue to be part of our journey and I keep you guys always updated with Alonso's progress and doctor's appointment. So yeah. <laughs>